Hi guys! Hi everybody! Welcome! How are you all? We are live from Bologna. From Bologna, <laughs> nice. Um, say hello to us, how are you? Um, well, shall we do our introductions? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Go away. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Aaron. I am 22. I'm from Ireland. Um, and I've been living in Bologna for four years, and I've been working at my English school for two and a half years. Nice. And my name is Sofia. I come from London. I have lived in Bologna for four years, and I work at my English school, Bologna Mille. I've worked there for almost two years. Wow. Nice. That's great. Uh, so, introduce yourself to us. Say Hi. hello. What is your name? Where do you come from? Where do you live? And tell us, what is always in your suitcase? It's here. Yeah. What is always in your suitcase? When you go on holiday, when you travel, you have a suitcase, a big bag for your clothes, um, your shoes, etc. And sometimes this bag has wheels. Yes, so you can also pull it. So what is for you essential when you travel? What is always in your suitcase? Mm. So what is always in your suitcase, Aaron? Well, my phone charger. Mm, that this is very important. Mm -hmm. My phone charger is always in my suitcase. Otherwise, I can't charge my phone. Yeah. So phone charger, okay. Um, maybe also for me, always in my suitcase, I have my toothbrush and my toothpaste. Um, mm, these are some very good words. Um, this for me is very, The very toothbrush good. and your toothpaste. Yeah, for me, this is very important so I can clean my teeth when mm. I am on holiday and traveling. Exactly. Um, and uh, always in my suitcase are clothes. Oh, clothes. Yeah, very <laughs> important, of course. <laughs> very important, clothes. Um, something else that you always have in your bag? Um, so for me, obviously, the essentials are my phone and my wallet and my keys these are the three essential things uh not only in my suitcase but in general when i go anywhere i always have these three things phone wallet and keys and keys um also your ticket oh that's very important mm. when you go on holiday you very you absolutely need A to have your ticket, ticket. yeah in your suitcase. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we need? Okay, let's talk about more personal things mm -hmm. because these are essential, these for everybody. Yeah. Um, so, for example, I love to read. Mm -hmm. And when I am traveling, when I am on a train or mm -hmm. on a bus or on an airplane, especially on the airplane mm -hmm. because there's no telephone, I always read. So, for me, one essential thing is a book. Mm. I always, always have a book in my suitcase or a book or my Kindle when I am traveling. Exactly. Absolutely essential. Uh, remember, if you're joining us now, please introduce yourselves and talk about, um, well, what is always in your suitcase? Good. Remember, your suitcase is the bag or container mm. that you use to go on holiday. Yeah. What you bring on the plane. Exactly. Bag for holiday or for traveling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what about for you, Aaron? What is the most essential thing when you are traveling? Um, I don't know. Um, very important is a portable charger, a power oh, bank. Okay. Um, but why? Because uh, I often listen to music uh, on my phone. So sometimes my phone runs out of battery. Mm. So I need a portable charger, power bank. Nice. 
what more is absolutely essential when you go on holiday to mm -hmm. have in your suitcase? Mm, I think, I don't know what else. I think we've put... I think we've put most of them up. Shall we look at our focus yeah, for today? Okay. So today we will talk about vacation plans. Mm -hmm. So we will look at, do you want to read the yeah. objectives? In this focus activity, choosing a vacation, there is, and the verb to want. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you are joining us now, please introduce yourself, tell us your name, where you are from, and tell us what is always in your suitcase when you travel. Mm -hmm. So let's look at uh, some questions about vacations. Remember that vacation is the American word. Mm -hmm. The English version, do you know what it is, Aaron? It's holiday. Exactly. Which I cannot spell. Uh, so uh, you go on holiday or go on a vacation? I would prefer go on holiday. But. <laughs> I also prefer go on holiday, but I think we have an American focus again. Uh, so vacation if you are in the US and holiday if you are in the UK. So our first question, do you prefer the beach or the mountains? Um, again, in the comments, please reply to the question. Uh, you have an example on the slide right here, <laughs> right here, um, I prefer. Mm. So beach or mountains, um, I prefer the beach um, mm. because I like swimming. Really? Is that true? You prefer the beach? No, I prefer <laughs> the mountains. But why did you say, why don't you be honest? <laughs> <laughs> No, I like both. I like both. Okay. Um, what do you like about the beach? Um, well, I like swimming. Mm. Um, and I like playing um, or doing sports on the beach. For example? Beach volleyball. Uh, you play volleyball, mm -hmm. yes. On the beach. It's really fun. Mm. Um, and what do you prefer about the mountains? Why do you like the mountains? I like the mountains because you can go walking. Mm. It is very peaceful and quiet. Yeah. I think for me, it's the same. I like summer holidays on the beach, but in general, I do prefer to be in the mountains. Uh, for me, the mountains are more interesting. Hmm. There, you can go walking. There are more things to see, um, mm -hmm. and I think they are more beautiful as well. Yeah, uh, at the beach, sometimes you don't know what to do. Sometimes the beach is boring. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes it is boring. Um, but in the mountains, it's yeah. I think it's more interesting in the mountains. Um, the um, next one yeah. is, do you prefer the city or the countryside? Again, if you would like to reply in the comments, mm -hmm. please do uh, tell us if you prefer the uh, city or the countryside. Yeah. Um, so do you prefer the city or the countryside? Ooh. It's um, difficult. Difficult, difficult. Um, but I think I prefer the city mm. uh, because there are a lot of things to do. For yeah. example, you can visit museums, you can go sightseeing. Mm -hmm. So Pretty visiting important monuments. And um, there are lots of restaurants, bars, pubs, cafes. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. I prefer the city because it is very vibrant and there are a lot of people mm -hmm. and there is, um, yeah, I prefer the rhythm of the mm. city. Also, there are more events. Also, yeah, yeah. more events. Um, but I, I like the countryside, but I prefer to live in the city. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are some, um, some benefits, some advantages to living in the countryside? 
do you think? Um, there is less smog and pollution. Oh, absolutely. That's very important. Mm -hmm. The air is clean. Mm, the air is clean in the countryside. It's true. And uh, also it's more quiet. Mm, absolutely. Um, and uh, less crowded. Yeah. Um, in general, there is more space in the mm, countryside. Definitely. The houses are bigger. Mm. Uh, you can always find parking. Yes. Car, <laughs> which is important. Um, so definitely. Also, in the countryside, you can have animals. True. True. Um, you can Pets, have. Yeah. Cats, I mean, dogs. of course, you can also have um, animals in the city, but. I think it's better for the animals to live in the countryside. Absolutely, because you can take them on uh, walks mm -hmm. and they can be longer and they can, you know. Yeah, and they can live in, in nature mm -hmm. as well. A lot yeah. more than in the city. Mm. Um, it's more difficult, I think, to have uh, a pet or an animal in the city. Yeah, especially if you live in a small apartment. Exactly, especially if you don't have a garden. Yeah, and um, sometimes I think for the animals, it is quite difficult to mm. stay all the time in a small apartment. Mm, 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 definitely. What about um, bad things, so disadvantages about the countryside? Ooh, um, well, there aren't many things to do. Okay. There are less events, there mm. aren't many restaurants or places to go. Maybe no cinemas. No cinemas. No bowling. No, <laughs> no, no bowling. <laughs> yeah. We like bowling. We are terrible at bowling, yes. though. We are really terrible. We are terrible at bowling, but we love it. Um, and other problems in the countryside, maybe um, if you don't have friends in the countryside, it is more difficult to meet people. Definitely, yes. And um, obviously an advantage is that you have less traffic, mm. but you find tractors. Okay. Tractors are terrible. Um, tractors are big machinery that is used by farmers. And, and they uh, go very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Yeah. So if you are driving behind a tractor, it yeah. takes forever yeah. to go anywhere. And they are so big that you can't You can't pass, them. yeah. Um, when you were a child, mm -hmm. you lived in the countryside, yes? yes? You grew up in, in the, the countryside, country. while yeah. you grew up in the city, right? I grew up in the suburbs, yes. Uh -huh. So not in the city centre, but in the periphery of the city, hmm. yes. Um, but what are the negatives, so the disadvantages of the city? Uh, I would say pollution. Yeah, so definitely. Smog. Uh, noise. Yeah, the noise, well. especially at night if you live mm -hmm. in the city centre or on an important road, an important street, it's difficult to, to sleep sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. there are a lot of people talking, mm -hmm. maybe shouting, um, singing. Cars, traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And also in the city, I think the space is a problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe you live in a very, very small apartment. You have neighbours on top, neighbours underneath. And maybe very, no garden. Maybe no garden, maybe no balcony. Maybe no balcony, maybe yeah. no garden, yeah. And sometimes in the city, it is claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. I will write this word too, claustrophobic. Claustrophobic, definitely. Um, but in the city, you have more services. Mm. So, for example, you have uh, um, supermarkets, supermarkets, post banks, exactly. Yeah. While in the countryside, maybe you have one. <laughs> yeah, it's or two. true. Mm -hmm. Here you um, have more selection, yeah. more choice. Also, in the city, you can be anonymous. True. Uh, you can be more individual and more anonymous in the countryside. No. You Every, cannot be anonymous. <laughs> everyone knows everything yeah. about everyone. It's true. Yeah. Let's look at our next question. What do you like to do? Mm. I imagine on holiday, yes, mm -hmm. on vacation. So on... So the, again, in the comments, if you are listening, please tell us. So write in the comments. What yeah. do you like to do on holiday? Yes. So on or on vacation, excuse me, on vacation, I like to relax. Yes. Yeah. Very um, important. Absolutely. And 
now that I work, it's even more important mm. to relax. I like to relax and I like to visit my friends and my family mm. because I live in Italy. My family lives in different countries. So for me, it is very important to see my family and to spend time with my family mm -hmm. on vacation. For me, it's the same. I live here, but my family lives in different places. So it's um, important to visit my family, my friends, um, but also, yeah, to relax, yeah. I would say. Also, I like to swim and I like to read. Mm -hmm. Yeah and um also if we go to the mountains i like hiking mm, that's really good that's right this word yeah. hiking 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 is when you go walking in the mountains mm -hmm. to walk in nature in the mountains and also if i am um, at the beach in the summer i also like to go camping Mm. I like to stay outside in nature. We have a student responding. Hi, Hi uh, Maria. Nice to see you from, from Modena. Modena. Excellent. Wonderful. Thank you for joining us. Mm. Tell us, Maria, what um, what do you prefer and what do you like to do when you go on vacation? Mm -hmm. uh, the next question is, do you prefer to travel alone or with someone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So alone is only you. Yeah. With someone is in company. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe with your friends, maybe with your family, with your husband, with your wife, etc. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, I definitely prefer to travel with someone. Really? Um, yes. Um, I don't, I think it's more fun. Um, but in small groups, maybe one or two people, not yes, big groups. I agree with you. Um, also, if you travel with someone, if you have a problem, they can help you. But if you are alone, one person, and you have a problem, it's a, it's a bigger problem. It's your problem. <laughs> exactly. Um, I think I also prefer to travel with someone, mm. maybe with one person, maybe two, um, but I think uh, that big groups, I don't like to travel mm, with big mm. groups. It's uh, too much confusion. Yes, and usually you have one person who wants to go sightseeing, another person who wants to go to the museum, another person who wants to go to the club, yeah. another person who wants to do something else. Yeah, and you and cannot agree, and always somebody will be sad, somebody yes, will be unhappy. I true. agree, absolutely. And Maria oh. says, I prefer to travel with my husband and our children. That's a Perfect. lovely answer. Good Wonderful job, Maria. Answer. Yes. Um, but also my dream one day is to go on vacation alone. Yeah. I think it is important one time, minimum one time in your life to go on vacation alone, mm. to be independent and to have this experience. Mm. So... This is my dream one day. Okay, shall we continue? Yeah, why not? All right. Let's uh, look at our next. Oh, here are some possible activities. Relax, go sightseeing, take photographs. And send postcards. Mm. So remember, that sightseeing is when you visit uh, important monuments and places in exactly. the city. In fact, I have it here. Uh -huh. Excellent. And uh, what is a postcard? So a postcard is a small piece of card, usually with a beautiful photograph, mm. a beautiful panorama. And I'm looking if we have one here. No, we don't no. have any postcards, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and we send them when we go on holiday. Mm. We send them to our family or to our friends. It's like a souvenir. Exactly. But you send it with a post. So we have some pictures on the right and some words on the left. Uh, let's read the words. We have swimming pool, beach room service and breakfast mm -hmm. so in the comments tell us what picture do they correspond to exactly so for example a what is picture a what is this man this person doing is it a swimming pool a beach room service or breakfast mm. 
please tell us. So the man is swimming. So I imagine it's a beach or a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Definitely one of the two. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if somebody replies in mm -hmm. the comments. Um, B looks very delicious. I think B is coffee or tea, probably, mm -hmm. because you can see that it is hot. Exactly. Yeah. Aha, we have Maria saying that A is swimming pool. Maybe she is right. I think she is right. Let's I check. think she is correct. Yeah, well done. In fact, A is a swimming pool. Good well job, done. Maria. Let's have a look at B. What is B? She says B is breakfast and Wonderful. I very think good. She is correct. So Excellent. it's tea or coffee. Usually we have this for breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, do you prefer the Italian style breakfast or do you prefer the typical English breakfast? Um, I actually prefer the Italian breakfast mm. because I prefer a sweet breakfast mm. with um, some uh, croissant or cornetti or brioche and some Nutella or some marmalade. Uh, I prefer sweet breakfast, but I prefer tea to coffee. Mm -hmm. And you, do you prefer an English or an Italian breakfast? Oh, it depends. Anyway, we have some answers yeah. here. C is beach, excellent, Maria. And D is room, room service, service. Very perfect. Nice. So what is room service? Um, so a room service, if we think about a hotel, room service is when you want to eat you want food mm -hmm. but you feel maybe a bit lazy and you do not want to go down to the restaurant so you call the reception and mm -hmm. you say can i have some food please and they bring the food to your bedroom exactly yeah exactly um let's ask our viewers what do you usually have for breakfast yeah. Yeah. What so what do you prefer, Avrun? Um, if I'm uh, working, so usually during the week, I prefer uh, an Italian style breakfast, mm. so something sweet, maybe tea, uh, maybe some cereal Absolutely. or some biscuits. Yeah. Um, but if I'm on holiday, why not? I like a continental breakfast, oh, the, really? uh, when an you English are on breakfast, holiday. definitely, yeah. So what do you have in a continental breakfast? Um, a typical Irish breakfast has uh, sausages, mm. uh, bacon, nice eggs, um, usually uh, potatoes. No, no, no potatoes. <laughs> no, but sometimes we might have these kind of waffles. Yeah, that's what I meant. Potato yeah, waffles. Definitely yeah. potato waffles. Uh, toast. Um, sometimes um, uh, white or black puddings. Uh, this is with meat, though. It's yes. not a sweet pudding. No, no, no. It's no. like a sausage. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Let us know in the comments, what do you usually have for breakfast? Do you prefer an Italian-style breakfast or do you prefer a English or British-style breakfast? Let us know. Uh, shall we continue? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Hmm. So, we will talk about different kinds of hotels. Mm -hmm. So, and we are going to compare them. Yeah. yeah. So, the question is which hotel do you prefer and why? And we can see in the corners the services of this hotel. So A, I think, has a swimming pool, yes? Yes. And also room service. While B also has a swimming pool, but it doesn't have room service. It has breakfast nice. included, I would say. So tell us, which hotel do you prefer? Do you prefer Hotel A or Hotel B? And tell us why. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you prefer, Sophia? I prefer Hotel B because there is breakfast and a swimming pool. For me, room service is not very important because I always eat in a restaurant when I go on vacation. I don't want to be on vacation and spend all my time in my hotel mm. room. I want to explore and see different things. So for me, room service is 
not necessary. Not necessary. Hmm. Yeah. Um, the, s- the same for me. I prefer Hotel B mm. um, because um, it has breakfast included. Yeah. Yes, I never order. I never have room service. Yeah. Maria says I prefer an Italian breakfast, of okay. course. Wonderful. With espresso, I imagine, and with a brioche. Um, well, but tell us, Maria, do you prefer tea or coffee? Also, yeah. What do you have? Um, pa- Paul is here as well. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paolo. Nice to see you. And he says, I usually prefer the Italian breakfast. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Also, Paolo, tell us, do you prefer tea or coffee? Uh, what type of coffee do you like? Mm-hmm. Is tell it cappuccino us. or espresso. Or espresso in the morning. What do you prefer? Um, in the past, I drank macchiato, was mm-hmm. my favorite But now I do not drink coffee. Mm -hmm. I stopped drinking coffee and I only drink tea. Yes, me too. I only drink tea, um, classic breakfast tea. Yeah, exactly. Um, Also, so tell us, which hotel do you prefer and why? Do you prefer the room service? Do you prefer breakfast? Which hotel do you prefer? Let's see. Also, let's look at the rooms. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Let's look at these rooms. They both rooms have, um, I think, panoramic views. Yes, they have very beautiful views Mm. from the windows. Exactly. So I'll put view is the panorama of the landscape. Yeah, and uh, they have very big windows. Mm. So there's a lot of light. But are they in the city or in the countryside? Um, They're in the city. I think they're in the city. They're both in the city. And Paul says that he likes coffee and a croissant. Very nice. Nice. Good job. Uh, Good uh, spelling of croissant as well. Um, Also, both of these rooms have very big beds. They do have very big beds, yes. In fact, A has a double bed right but he has an enormous bed look it's really long yeah it is it's like a king size bed in b i definitely prefer b (laughs) i can just lie like this with my hands open and um, maria says i prefer coffee and biscuits wonderful nice good job um let us know also in the comments which hotel do you prefer do you prefer a or b they are very similar but they have different services a has a swimming pool and room service Mm -hmm. while b has a swimming pool and breakfast exactly um shall we continue yeah yeah so uh, we have oh more hotels now. Yes, uh, this time in Hotel A we have a swimming pool and breakfast mm. included. And in B we have a swimming pool, room service, but also a beach. Nice. Mm. So which room, which hotel do you prefer, and why? Also, B looks like it's maybe in a. No, in a resort. Probably. It does look like a resort. You're right. B a looks resort. like a resort. There is the sea. There is the beach. It's really fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. While B looks like, uh, sorry, A uh, looks like something in the countryside. Absolutely, but not in the mountains. No, no. I think maybe the English countryside. Exactly. It looks like the English countryside. But, um, and it is a very old fashioned, maybe antique house. Mm-hmm. In fact, it looks like a mansion. Um, I'll put some words up. Yeah, old fashioned. And uh, Paul says, or Paolo says, I prefer uh, Hotel A mm-hmm. because it is big and bright. Okay. Oh, very nice. Excellent. Uh, remember your article. Exactly. That's your subject. It is. Big and bright. It is big and bright. Excellent. Well so, done. Paolo, don't forget, here is your correction. It is big and bright. 
Good answer. Um, so speaking of Hotel A, we've got a old fashioned antique mansion. So a mansion is a very, very big, big house. house. Yes. Um, and while B, I think, is a modern resort. Absolutely. It's very modern. Um, we said A is probably in the English countryside, mm -hmm. but B, where do you think B is? Uh, maybe the Caribbean. You think um, it's from the Caribbean? Or maybe Florida. Yeah, I thought the same. Maybe Florida. Do you think possibly Spain or... Um... Maybe not Spain, mm. but um, maybe on an island like the... Um, I don't know the like Mallorca maybe. Uh, I don't know. It looks more Caribbean. You to think me. it looks more exotic? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, which do you prefer of these hotels? Do you prefer A or do you prefer B, and why? So, which do you prefer, Aaron? Uh, oh, it's very difficult. It to is choose difficult, isn't it? Because they are very different. Yes, exactly. They are very different experiences. Exactly. Um, hmm. In this period, probably I would prefer B because you go to because now it's cold and uh, um, damp, so I prefer somewhere warm and hot. Yeah, with sun as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I think I prefer B because it is hot and sunny and it is exotic. I mean, Hotel mm -hmm. A is beautiful, mm -hmm. but I mean, English countryside, it's, <laughs> it's very close. Yes. It's very easy to go there. But B is maybe in the Caribbean, maybe in Florida, like mm -hmm. you said. So it's more exotic and mm -hmm. um, it's more of an opportunity to to visit definitely yeah. definitely um and there is room service maybe i wouldn't use room service but there is no. a beach which is important and swimming pool and a swimming pool but um if for me if there is a beach if there is the sea mm -hmm. i always go to the sea yeah, i do yeah. not go to the swimming pool no no uh if there is a sea we go to yeah. the sea actually this is a good question do you prefer the sea or swimming pool? So let us know in the comments which do you prefer. Do you prefer the sea or the swimming pool? Mm -hmm. For me, absolutely the sea, always. I agree. Yeah. But sometimes in the summer, I like to go to the swimming pool uh, because it is more relaxing sometimes. Yes, especially here in Italy where the um, a lot of beaches have a lot of people in mm -hmm. there. Sometimes uh, it can be very confusing. Yeah, but usually at the swimming pool, especially a outdoor swimming pool, yes, never inside, outdoor swimming pool, you mm -hmm. can have a drink, a cocktail and relax. Excellent. Paolo says. But for Hotel A, because it is characteristic and has a garden. Excellent Perfect to use answer. the verb to be and the verb to have. Yes, yeah. excellent. excellent. Good Very good, Paolo. Very good job. Um, Paolo says, I prefer the pool. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so a different answer. Why do you prefer the pool, Paolo? Tell us, uh, why do you prefer the pool and not the sea? And if you are joining us now, tell us which hotel do you prefer and also tell us why. Um, characteristic um, is a good word. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's continue. When mm. uh, pick a pick, so choose a exactly. destination for each season. Explain your choice. Exactly. So pick here is choose. So mm -hmm. we choose a destination. Side. Yeah. The destinations are the beach, the mountains. The city and the countryside. The seasons are spring, summer, autumn and winter. And the activities are relax, go sightseeing, take photos and send postcards. But also any other activities that you can think of, um, you can use any activity. So like the example, did we read the example? No, we didn't. Okay, let's read the example. In winter, I want to go to the mountains because I want to ski. Mm -hmm. Here we're using the verb want. Yeah. I don't want to ski. 
No. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know how to ski. I can't ski, and um, I am a bit scared yeah. of skiing. Yes, I think I will fall and uh, go to the hospital, probably. <laughs> um, Paul says, so the swimming pool, because I don't like sand. Yes, uh -huh. I um, absolutely agree. I, I don't like sand either. I don't like sand either. Yeah. Why don't you like sand, Darren? Uh, I don't know. It's coarse and rough, and it gets everywhere. Um, so tell us, what do you prefer? Um, the season, the destination, and the activity, mm -hmm. just like in the example. So remember, the four seasons are spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Currently, like at the moment, we are in, well, technically we are in spring. Technically we are in spring, but if you are in Bologna or close to Bologna, maybe um, Maria also noticed today, uh, she's in Modena, yes, um, that today in Bologna it was snowing. Mm -hmm. Very strange. Yeah, it Mark. was very strange. So technically we are in spring, but practically we are still in winter. winter. Mm -hmm. um, so let me try. In spring, mm -hmm. I want to go to the city mm -hmm. because... I want to go sightseeing and I want to not have allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And Andrea has joined us. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Nice to see you. I like the beach and sun, I think. And the sun. I like the beach and the sun. Excellent. Very nice. Good so, um, if you want to make a sentence mm -hmm. similar to the exercise, I would say in the summer. I want to go to the beach because I want to, what is the verb that we use? Sunbathe, sunbathe. Um, sunbathe is when you relax in the sun um, on the beach. Exactly. And you become red sometimes. <laughs> yes, or brown. So here is our another example. In summer, I want to go to the beach because I want to sunbathe. And an example I said, in spring, I want... Yes, um, I don't like spring because I am allergic to pollens. And so um, for me, it's impossible to go to the park or um, uh, to go to the countryside. Yes, for me it is the same. In spring I want to be in the city because in the countryside I suffer from my allergies from the pollen. Me too. Um, what about in, um, in winter, Aaron? In uh, winter I want to go to, hmm, to the city mm -hmm. um, because I want to go sightseeing. Very nice, good. Um, especially, well, I, I just like sightseeing in the winter. Yeah. I think it's the one of the perfect times to go sightseeing. Um, but not if it's raining. No, not if it's raining. The cold is okay, but if it is raining, it is impossible mm. to go sightseeing. True. Um, I have another one. In autumn, I want to go to the countryside because I want to see the colors. Mm. For me, it is uh, the perfect time, the perfect season for the countryside is in the autumn because the colors are beautiful. True, mm. true. Uh, there are the leaves falling from the trees. Exactly. And I have no allergies. Yes. In autumn, and so it's very, very important. important. <laughs> no allergies, yeah. yes. Uh, but in the summer, uh, I want to go to the beach uh, because I can um, relax. Yeah, I want to relax. I want to swim. Swim, yeah. Um, I want to be in the sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. When it's very, very hot, I want to go swimming. Yeah. Uh, in winter, I want to go to the mountains, but not because I want to ski, but because I want to... Um, See, I want to walk in the mountains mm. and look, only look at the snow. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah. don't want to be in the snow. Um, remember that walking in the mountains is called hiking. Hiking, exactly. And Paul asks for the pronunciation of sightseeing. Exactly, sightseeing. Do not pronounce the g. No, sightseeing. 
Um, good. Do you like to take photographs? Yes, I do. Uh, but I don't have a big camera. Mm. I take photographs with my phone. Nice. Good job. Maria says... In autumn, I want to go sightseeing because the weather isn't very hot. That's good. a really good answer, That's Maria. Good answer. Excellent. Excellent. Um, let me just show you the, the spelling of weather. Okay. Uh, but that's a very good answer. And um, yeah, excellent. It's true. Um, it's very difficult to go sightseeing in the summer mm. because of how hot it is. Yeah. Uh, another has another answer. Excellent. In summer, I want to go to the beach because I uh, want to go sightseeing. Sightseeing at the beach? Um, yeah, maybe not so much. Remember that sightseeing, did I write it here? I think so, yes, earlier on. Did I write it earlier? Uh, remember that sightseeing is when you are in a city exactly. and you visit the important monuments. Exactly. Sightseeing, as Aaron said, is usually in a city. So maybe there is a different activity, Andrea, that you want to do at the beach. Uh, relaxing on the beach. Sunbathing. It's called sunbathing. Yeah. We might write that as well. Yeah, maybe you intend sunbathing. Mm -hmm. So, relaxing on the beach. And um, any other ones? Have to remove this. Can you give another example? Um, in. Um, hmm. I don't know. Um, um, hmm. oh, I don't. So let us know in the comments if you think of any more sentences. And let's go on to, to our, our final, final activity. activity. Yes. So I want you to imagine, well, we want you to imagine <laughs> that you are at the travel agent. This shouldn't be difficult. I am sure everybody now is fantasizing mm -hmm. about a holiday. Yeah. So you are at the travel agent where you plan vacations, okay, with an agent. So we will um, read a dialogue and complete the gaps with your own dream destination, your mm -hmm. dream holiday. So um, let's, uh, shall we do, I'll do the questions and you do the responses. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's try it once together. Okay. So, where do you want to go? Let's do our question one. Remember that location. Um, I want to go to Japan. Oh, nice. Okay. Next, we have Gwen. Gwen. When. <laughs> when is for a time mm. or a period. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So when do you want to go? I want to go in spring. Mm -hmm. Then we have the question word, which. Remember that which is for choices or for preferences. Mm -hmm. So which features, which uh, characteristics or which services do you prefer in a hotel? Mm -hmm. Um, I prefer a hotel with um, a big bed mm -hmm. and breakfast included. Nice. Let's look at some comments from our students. We have where Maria says, in summer, I want to go to the beach. I adore walking on the sand and looking for shells. Maria, that's wonderful. Very Thanks. good vocabulary. Uh, just don't forget, after adore, it's similar to love and like, okay? Use mm -hmm. ing. I adore walking and look ing. Very good. good shell. Excellent shell. word. Shell, yeah. And Maurizio, uh, hi. Hi, Welcome. Maurizio. Nice Welcome to see to you. Stream. I'm Maurizio from Parma. I'm 67 years old and I am retired. I hope you can visit Parma next year as a city as, as a city of culture 2021. Well, That's thank wonderful. you, uh, Maurizio. Maurizio is doing a bit of advertising as yes. well. He's doing some publicity for Parma. <laughs> um, I think you have visited Parma very often. Yes, I have visited Parma uh, 
often. Yes. Yeah. It's very beautiful. It's a beautiful city. Yeah. And the food, obviously, is The amazing. food is wonderful, yes. yes. I, uh, unfortunately, I have not visited Parma. I have visited only Parma train station. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paolo asks retired. So retired is when somebody does not work. Um, when you are, um, well, you you finished working. Yeah, you finish working rather because doesn't work is not so mm -hmm. clear. When, so after a long time working, when you finally stop. Exactly. When you finish working and you become a pensioner mm -hmm. okay exactly maria good job looking for shells looking for and walking yeah. so retired when you um you are older and you finish working and you have a pension okay mm -hmm. um so we were saying about which. um yes you're welcome which... paolo and then we've got, what do you want to do? So what activities? Ooh, um, I want to go sightseeing mm. and um, I want to go hiking in the mountains. Very nice. Um, yeah, hiking in the mountains in Japan is very special. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have the question word, who, which is remember for people. So our final question is, who do you want to go with? Um, I want to go alone. Oh, that was cruel. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> um, I want to go with my wonderful girlfriend. So in the comments, please fantasize, imagine your dream holiday and write for us some sentences. I want to go where I want to go, when, which features, which services you prefer in the hotel. So look at the red sentences and complete them with your dream holiday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Mauritius says, I'm, uh, I may be... I'm basic. So like an everyday with my yes in Parma. Nice, nice. job. Good. Uh, we work at my yes Bologna. Yeah. We hope you like it at my yes in Parma. Mm -hmm. Okay, shall we swap? Yeah. Okay, let's change. And remember, while we are practicing in the comments, you can write your answers. Uh, where do you want to go? I want to go to Egypt. Egypt. And uh, when do you want to go? I want to go in autumn. Hmm. And which features do you prefer in a hotel? I prefer a hotel with a beautiful view mm -hmm. and breakfast. Okay. Uh, do you prefer an English breakfast or an Italian breakfast? Uh, I'm on holiday, so I prefer an English breakfast. Okay. Um, I need energy. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you want to do in Egypt in autumn? I want to visit the pyramids mm -hmm. and I want to ride a camel. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to sleep in the desert. Wow. Okay. And uh, who do you want to go with? I want to go with uh, my boyfriend. Okay, wonderful. Uh, should we do it again? Yeah, let's change. Let's choose a different mm -hmm. destination. Remember, I want to go to um, Norway. When do you want to go? Uh, I want to go in um, hmm, in the spring. Okay, good. Because if you said winter, I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which features do you prefer in a hotel? Um, I prefer a hotel with uh, hmm, with uh, a sauna. Oh, nice! A Norwegian sauna. A Norwegian sauna. Yeah and um, a beautiful view. Nice. Let's just check Maurizio's comment. He says, you are all excellent teachers. I'm very satisfied that I've chosen this. Oh, thank you so much, thank Maurizio. Thank you so much, Maurizio. That's a beautiful message. Yes, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much.
Um, what do you want to do in Norway? Um, I want to visit the fjords mm. and see the northern lights. That's beautiful. And who do you want to go with? Uh, I want to go with my friends. Nice, good job. Um, I think we might have time to do one more. I think we're out of time. Oh, actually. No, we yes. are. You're right. Okay, guys. So keep um, messaging your own 